I'm Brian Vann, SportBikeTrackGear.com. Today we're going to give you our first impression review of the all-new Icon Airflight helmet. Okay, we're going to put a little something new into the first part of our helmet videos. We're going to call it the rundown. In case you don't want to hear me ramble on forever about all this stuff, I'm going to hit you real quick with the features, bennies, so on and so forth. Let's start off with shell. It is a polycarbonate shell. Weight was 3.8 pounds in a size medium. Certification is ECE certified as well as DOT certified. How does it fit? It's an intermediate oval. I would agree with that. I am 58 centimeters on the money with an intermediate oval. It's got a little bit of an on-off effort, but overall it's got a comfortable fit. Ventilation of this helmet with all the intake down here in the chin. Look at how badass that is. The intake up here. Remember, it does have a drop down on her shield too, which sometimes disrupts a little bit of that. We'll have to test it. My expectation is the ventilation is decent. It's probably going to produce a little bit of noise too, so don't expect this thing to be quiet as a church mouse or like a shark helmet or something. It's not going to be that quiet. And then of course it has not only that groundbreaking MX look there on that full shield, but it does have a drop down inner. Okay, as of the filming of this video, the Air Flight sells for prices that range from 250 to 310. The one we're showing you right now, this is the bad boy. This is the good fortune, super sexy. This is going to be the upper end of the scale the 310 okay wow look at that that is stunning this is a very unique design here with the all-new air flight so let's talk riding style let's open up with that who what rider is this right for if you look at this helmet you're going well that's a bad mother right there well then guess what it is right for you because realistically what with icon that's what they aim for they make quality products okay that kind of lend themselves to a bunch of different riding styles because their style their look is so unique okay we weighed this in a size medium on our digital shipping scale it came in at 3.8 pounds it's got a polycarbonate shell this is certainly heavier than the airframe pro it looks a little bit like the airframe pro but we're using different materials here for sure and you can see that in the weight at the end of the day is 3.8 heavy uh, it's not super heavy and it's also not super light the certification for this helmet, that's going to depend on the country that you live in, but for us here in the U.S., this is both DOT and ECE certified. Let's talk about fit and style of fit. I measure 58 centimeters on the money, intermediate oval head shape. Their size chart puts me in a medium, and the medium fits me as I would expect. On-off effort, that's something some people are sensitive to. With the Icon helmets, you know, the Airframe Pro, the Air Mata, and now the air flight, I would say that it definitely has some on-off effort. You're going to notice it when you take it on and off, right? Because the opening is a little bit to the smaller side, and that's to get the helmet to fit properly and to seal up around the neck, which helps to keep it a little bit quieter. So beyond that, I didn't get any hot spots. It felt comfortable. And I would say that the overall fit of it, for me, runs consistent with what I would expect from a medium. Ventilation with the all-new air flight. Intake vents up here at the top. These are switched either on or off. You know what? The action feels good. Remember, we're not talking about an $800 helmet here, but overall the quality and action feels good. Right here in the chin bar, through the shield, MX style vent. You got to admit, that is super bitching. We've got the clear shield on it right now. Of course, this helmet has the drop down inner. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But tons of ventilation is going to flow in through right there. That's a great area to bring the air in the helmet. The switching for it is located right inside here. I don't know if Steve can get that or not. I believe up is closed, down is open, and that has a couple of stages to it. So you can kind of tune the ventilation with it. You'll see it does ship complete with a chin curtain already installed as well. For exhaust vents, they are built into the back of the helmet here, and that is a good, strong look for sure. Like I said, I haven't ridden it. It's Michigan. It's still March. But looking at the helmet, my expectation for the airflow, we will take it out and ride in it once it warms up just a bit. Expectation for the airflow is to the good side. Noise level, especially considering you're going to be bringing in air down here. You know, I would say not crazy loud, but that Airframe Pro is also not crazy quiet. So what I found with most of the Icon helmets is they do tend to produce a little bit of noise, but they do come with typically very good airflow. Helmets that have the drop-down inner screen, 
there are most times a little bit of sacrifice and ventilation up in the top of the helmet because they have to make adjustments to the EPS, right? And that shield is riding up in there in an area they would normally leverage for intake vents. Okay, now we're gonna focus on the shield. It's gonna ship with a clear outer. We've got a tinted drop down inner. Of course, there are options available. We're gonna show you how to service the shield right now because it's very different with this helmet. You've got a shield lock here at the bottom. They did a good job with that, that lip. It's strong, it's really pronounced, you can feel it. When you have gloves on to lift it up, we have detents. Show you right here at the very top, right here. That's all pretty much free floating stuff, all right? Little detent there, but that's gonna pop up. No man's land there. And right here, we have a good strong detent. Now to get the shield off, you wanna replace it or change it. You're gonna grab right here on the side plate and you're gonna pull out. The first time you do it, you're gonna be like, man, that's a little bit unnerving. The pieces look robust. I popped this one on and off a couple of times. It hasn't blown apart, so my expectations are that's going to last and stand the test of time. There is a pretty big win with this because what they've done here for this side plate, there is no moving parts, man. There's no little lever. There's no little springs in there, and that's the stuff that typically hits the bed down the road. So this is probably going to last a long time. The Achilles heel could be this side plate, but if you want to zoom in there, Steve, you can show the thickness. I think they did a pretty decent job. You can see they've got metal receivers for this, so that looks pretty robust. Remove the other side, same way, and now to get the shield off, you got to lift it up all the way, and you'll see where the cutouts in the shield line up and pop it off just like that. The optics from it look good, optics from the drop down inner also look good. You can have a look at the gasket around here when the shield's closed. The contact there does look good. All in all, it's a different. This is a different approach for sure. It's a creative approach. There's some wins, some things that are better, and some things that you know some folks might look at as a negative. To install it, get the one side on, hold it with your finger, come on over to the other side, line that up while you're trying to hold the first side. You know, that felt a little bit clunky. You could maybe try and do one side at a time, but still, once again, not horrible and no moving parts, which is absolutely badass. Slide the plate in. And that locks right into position. Nice and snug, no problem. Get it all lined up. Like so. Okay, now let's focus more on the interior. It's gonna ship with a breath guard in place. That's part of the demisting. Remember, this is a fog-free treated shield. So that's part of the demisting. For fog-free stuff, you want your coating, but then you also want a little bit of air movement up on that shield. That helps to just keep the air inside the helmet moving and it greatly reduces the stress that's put on that fog-free coating. That is removable if you want to pull it out. It uses their Hydra Dry Quick Wick Moisture Wicking Liner. That stuff's effective. They've been using it for years. The quality of the assembly, the helmet's really good. One thing it definitely shares in common with that Airframe Pro is this cutout here at the back. That's kind of bitching because it reduces the possibility of there being any interference between the shell of the helmet itself and your jacket, or if you happen to be using this with a race suit, which I don't see most people doing, you do have that cutout there. To remove the chin curtain, you want to just grab it right here on the edges and disengage and then kind of follow that up and around. You want to keep your thumb underneath supporting it, pull it out like so. It's got some nice clips, it feels like it engages real positively. This helmet is set up to accept communicator systems, we'll show you that. To remove the cheek pads, you've got two snaps large panel of velcro this engages in between the EPS and the shell itself there are retainers there there's your velcro patch this little cardboard piece right that's out of there don't need that quality of it looks good like I said that's one thing with icon man they do 
a solid job. The quality of their helmets, they hit a point and it really started with their airframe where, man, they just moved forward and ever since that airframe, they have just continued to push forward making good quality products. Top pads removable as well. You know, is this the most technologically advanced helmet in the world? Well, probably not. But man, I gotta tell you, the quality's good, fits good, and it's got a super bitchin' look to it. And, and you know, let's be realistic. That's why you're buying this helmet. You're not buying this air flight because, oh yeah, it's all about the technology and the weight and the, you're buying it because it looks super badass. That's the thing that where it starts, that's where the attraction starts, but the product itself is good. Icon does a nice job. Inside, you can see your EPS, it's channeled. You can see all the ventilation holes that are built in to help distribute air and exchange air inside the helmet. And then, I don't know if Steve's gonna be able to get this or not, but right here, you do have the impression for the speakers. If you're gonna put a communicator system in this, it's pretty straightforward. You know, any of the helmets anymore, they have the pockets that are integrated inside the EPS to make it pretty easy to do for most people. There's the inside out look at the air flight. Closing thoughts, and I probably already said all this stuff before we got to this point, you know. I like it, it's a cool helmet. I like Icon stuff, I appreciate the quality they put into it, and you know what, man? Everybody needs a little bling in their life, and that's where they really knock it out of the park. You know, there is nothing about this that's conservative. This is 100, it's got a dragon on it, okay? Who doesn't love that? The gold, I love the whole helmet, but beyond that, cool concept with the vent up here. I'm excited to ride in it and see how I feel about it, right? How loud will it actually be? Will it be louder than the Airframe Pro? If I'm gonna knock anything, right? If I'm gonna knock stuff, I feel like when I was trying to research this, like the number of shell sizes and such, and I don't know that that's relevant for buying a helmet like this because you're not buying this for all the technology. You want it quality, but you're into it because it looks badass. They could have done a better job you know, with maybe some of that stuff. And that's such a minor tick, the user's never even gonna notice. If you like the look of it, I think you're gonna love the helmet. This one is exceptional, in my opinion. This is the all new Icon Air Flight. And we'll have a follow up. I'll go out and do some riding this thing pretty soon. Got a new project flight coming and I'll get out there and rip around a little bit in this one and, and see how I feel about it. We'll do a follow up.